Moses, according to the Hebrew Bible, had the Ark of the Covenant built to guard sacred relics, including the Ten Commandments. The Israelites carried it during their 40 years in the wilderness and later housed it in King Solomon's temple in Jerusalem. In 607 BC, the Babylonians besieged the Israelite capital, slaughtering more than a million people and driving the survivors into exile. When the Israelites returned, the Ark had disappeared, along with many other priceless treasures. It's unknown whether the holy chest was hidden somewhere before the siege as protection, or destroyed by the Babylonian invaders. Archaeologists and treasure hunters have been searching for it for more than a century, with little success. In 1519, Hernán Cortés arrived in the Aztec capital of Tenochtitlan and was greeted by Emperor Montezuma II. The Aztecs offered Cortés gold and silver in the hopes that these gods would lead them in peace. However, the Spaniards put Montezuma under house arrest and ransacked the city. After a brutal massacre, the Aztecs rebelled and Montezuma was killed. The Spanish forces fled and dumped their looted riches in Lake Texcoco. Despite Cortés returning and conquering the Aztecs, the treasure, known as Montezuma's treasure, remains lost. The most popular theory is that it still rests at the bottom of Lake Texcoco, but some believe it was retrieved by over 2,000 men and taken north, possibly to southern Utah. One of the most famous pirates in history, whose real name was Edward Teach, is believed to have been a British privateer during the War of Spanish Succession in the early 18th century before turning to piracy. From 1716 to 1718, Blackbeard and his 40-gun flagship, Queen Anne's Revenge, sailed the West Indies and the Atlantic coast of North America, attacking ships carrying valuable treasures from Mexico and South America back to Spain. In late 1718, a British naval force led by Lieutenant Robert Maynard managed to kill Blackbeard after a tough battle, Maynard had the pirate's head cut off and hung it from the front of his ship. Before his death, Blackbeard claimed to have hidden his huge treasure, but he never revealed its location. Since then, treasure hunters have been searching for it, looking for clues everywhere from Virginia's Chesapeake Bay to the Caribbean and the Cayman Islands. Back in 1820, the Spanish authorities in Lima, Peru were in a rush to save their treasure from the advancing forces of José de San Martín. They gave the British sea captain William Thompson the task of hiding the loot on his ship, the Mary Deer, until it was safe to return. But instead of following orders, Thompson and his crew killed the guards and ran off with the treasure. When a Spanish ship caught the Mary Deer, the whole crew was killed, except for Thompson and his first mate. They promised to reveal where the treasure was buried, but when they reached Cocos Island near Costa Rica, they escaped into the jungle and were never seen again. Since then, over 300 expeditions have tried and failed to find the treasure of Lima, which is said to be worth around $200 million today. The lost treasure is believed to include a life-size solid gold image of the Virgin Mary covered in gems. One of the most famous missing treasures is the one hidden by Confederate Ranger Colonel John Singleton Mosby in 1863. He and his band of guerrilla raiders surprised Union troops and took a burlap sack filled with over $350,000 worth of gold, silver, jewelry, and other valuables. Mosby buried the treasure between two pine trees, but when he sent men to retrieve it, they were caught and hanged. Mosby never returned for the treasure, and its exact location remains a mystery in the woods of Fairfax County, Virginia. In the last months of World War II, as Germany was about to lose, the Nazi regime tried to hide the valuable treasures they had stolen from museums and Jewish families all over Europe. There are still rumors today about a Nazi ghost train carrying up to 300 tons of gold and other riches through secret tunnels in Poland. In Lake Toplitz, in Austria, it's believed that Nazi officers sank billions of dollars worth of Reichsbank gold, and no one has found it yet. In 1959, divers found containers filled with millions of dollars worth of fake currency from allied nations, part of a Nazi plan to ruin their enemies' economies. So far, at least seven people have drowned in the lake looking for the lost Nazi gold. 